This is what happens when strong wind hits a B-52 bomber. It just, it moved it from its mount, which was looking southward, completely twisted it, looking westward, and moved it right off the mount. Now keep in mind, this B-52 is probably a few thousand pounds lighter than flyable B-52s because, well, they removed the engines and the weapons bay and avionics. And uh, this is just a hollow structure of a B-52. But nonetheless, it still weighs plenty. <clears throat> Let's take a closer look. And you can pause it and read it later. Look how it just moved it right off its mount. I mean, it dragged it 6, 12, 18, uh, I'd say about 24 feet. I mean, this is where it was, and the wind just picked it up, bolts in the ground to, ho to hold down the B-52 to ground it from lightning, and the wind just completely dragged it. You can see the wheel marks right there, dragged it right off. Now, this is not owned by Griffiths, nor is it owned by Rome, New York, nor Oneida County. The B-52 is owned by the United States Air Force Museum out of uh, Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Dayton, Ohio. And basically, I believe it's going to be up to the Air Force to fix it. So... Basically, they're going to have to get a crane in here, but you can see the mounts right there. Uh, probably about two feet in height. But look how the wind just lifted those bolts right out of the ground. And then, of course, the B-52 was just dragged. I'm surprised the landing gear just didn't break off. Well, actually, it almost did. But uh, <laughs> there's a lot to repair on this B-52. Uh, this is the underside of, uh, let's see, engine number one and two. <laughs> uh, yeah, it definitely got damaged. Uh, it's going to require a lot of repair. And I don't know if they're going to bother doing that uh, this year or... Next year, probably not this year, because this year is pretty much already over. And the only thing people are concerned with is the elections for November. That's all people are concerned with, which is really lame. I mean, if they're going to be so concerned with elections, the Democrats and Republicans should both be working to get storm-damaged cities, towns, villages hamlets the money they need right now not wait one year two years three years i mean because it's going to show come election day i certainly am not going to vote for any democrat and the republicans that are holding up the money as well to rebuild uh the areas affected in oneida county uh, I'm not going to vote for those Republicans either. So they better start working on making progress and stop procrastinating as to how much money each er er affected area receives. But look how the landing gear was just... It's ripped off. 
I mean, if the wind hit it for a few seconds longer, it would have ripped this landing gear clean off. But that's from the ground as well, dragging it. How would Chuck Yeager describe it? Uh, he augered in. <laughs> he really augered that landing. But it's hard to believe the B-52 was up there and now it's way down here. Ah, good old Le Lady Liberty. I still remember when these, uh, vividly remember when these planes would always fly around right over our, the family's house. Awesome. Every country in the world is afraid of this airplane. The guns used to be manned, there used to be a gunner for the B-52s, but I think by the time the G and H model of B-52s uh, were entered in the service, the guns were automatic, uh, basically radar guided. Truly something, a lot of damage. Oh yeah, over there is uh, Air City Loft Apartments. I got quite a few videos of them on my channel. If you want to check it out, you know, just go to the search bar on my channel, Air City Lofts or Air City Apartments or Griffiths Airport. But look how I just dragged it. Kind of imprinted there and then picked up a little bit as the plane was balancing itself. And the landing gear went right through the wing. I mean, it just punctured right through the wing. Uh, I mean, that tells you the kind of strength the storm had. It also knocked down a uh, gas pipe sign caution fiber optic cable hard to believe the landing gear just punched right through the wing though And even this engine nacelle uh, got some damage. Yep, got the birds in there. Birds haven't been nesting in here since they got moved. But look how it just got completely, I mean, the metal just got mangled. It's going to be a lot of work. I mean, they're going to need a big crane in here, definitely. Maybe the one that's currently at the Presbyterian Church in Rome can come down this way, uh, the Rigal Company, and they can lift it up and put it back on the mount. Maybe the U.S. Air Force should contract them. Rigal, that's R-I-G-A-L-L -L, out of Frankfurt, New York. Some sun. But that really is a testament to the strength of nature. I mean, wow. Or call it whatever makes you happy. But wow. And it looks like, I'm not sure. But yeah, I'll say it. Uh, it looks uh, that the uh, windshields... Uh, in the cockpit also got damaged by the wind 